Hey guys, it's me, Pastor Courtney. I miss you so much. I miss our church family. I miss being together. I miss seeing friends. I miss my kids' teachers. Audra's teacher for preschool is named Mrs. Grace, and she's cool, just like her name implies. And she sent us home a bunch of resources to do preschool at home. And one of our favorites has been an app called ABC Mouse. And there's learning puzzles on there, there's reading games. Audra loves it so much that she earned enough tickets on that game to buy herself a potbelly pig. <laughs> I have never been so happy for something to be virtual, let me tell you. But the best part about it, I have to say, has been the math portion of the app. I'm not somebody who's really ever loved math, gotten excited about it, but preschool math is math I can get behind. Two plus two equals four. 3 plus 3 equals 6. It reminded me that something I can appreciate about math is that math is stable. It's predictable. Math equations don't get viruses or have to self-quarantine. Math equations don't have to homeschool their kids or worry about the future. Okay, Math uh, adds up. And the thing about life is that life is not math, is it? Life doesn't always feel stable. It doesn't always add up. It's not predictable for sure. Yesterday was April 1st, and some of you were probably thinking, man, cannot wait for another month of this. Or maybe you were on the other end of the spectrum and you were thinking, man, I cannot wait for another month of this. But truthfully, we probably all fall somewhere in the middle of those, those two spectrums. Feeling a lot of different emotions as things change from day to day sometimes hour to hour, minute to minute if you have kids. <laughs> and there's probably been a lot of different things that we have been feeling for sure. Gratitude, fear, peace, frustration, determination, anxiety. I actually looked up the definition for anxiety kind of by accident when I was looking up a verse yesterday and I wanted to read that definition for you. Google says, mm. <laughs> that anxiety is experiencing worry, unease, or nervousness, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. Sounds familiar, huh? Now, I'd like to say I'm never anxious, but I have to admit, there is one verse that I speak out quite often, and that's Philippians 4, 6. I encourage you to look it up. It says, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Even King David, a man after God's own heart, wrote in Psalms 139, 23, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. I feel you, David. <laughs> it makes us realize that people haven't really changed all that much, have they? There's nothing new under the sun, like God's word says. If I go online for about two minutes or turn on the news, that anxiety tries to set in to our, my heart and my mind. Everything we see is unstable, unpredictable. It doesn't add up. But we don't base our lives on what we see, do we? We base our lives on what we know. 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. What we see will violate what we know unless what we know dictates what we see. So what do we know? I know I can hand him all my anxiety because he cares for me from 1 Peter 5, 7. I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper from Isaiah 54, 17. I know that nothing, nothing can ever separate me from the love of God, hallelujah, from Romans 8, 38 and 39. I know that the Lord is with me wherever I go, Joshua 1.9. I know that God has redeemed me and summoned me by name. I am his, from Peter 5.7. I know that God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind, from Timothy 1.7. And I know he will never leave me or forsake me, from Deuteronomy 31.6. That's what I know. So even though life may not be math, it is full of God's promises for us, and nothing can change that, friends. Nothing. It reminds me of a line in an old hymn I used to sing with my grandma. It says, many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds the future, and I know who holds my hand. 
So today I want to encourage you not to live according to what you see, but live according to what you know. Let me pray for you today. Jesus, I thank you, God, that your word stands strong and true amidst, amidst chaos, amidst craziness going on around us, God, that we can trust in the promises of your word, that we can stand on what we know, God, because what we see is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal, God, and so we stand on your promises today, God. We stand on the truth of your word, God. I pray that your Holy Spirit would fill my New Hope friends and family, God, today with so much strength and assurance of who you are and the plans that you have, God, and that in you there is so much stability and strength, God, because we know the truth that we can find in you and find in your word. I thank you for that today, God. I pray blessing on my friends watching this right now, God. I pray, Lord, your strength, your truth would reign in their hearts and minds today, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you guys so much and see you soon.